Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Oh, baby, it's time to talk about It's the Future Booth. <laughs> Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. So, by popular demand, I have decided to cover this SoFi Shilling Mega Dork. Future Investing, who is yet another YouTube grifter. And as the grift always goes, they latch onto a stock that is popular, regardless of how risky it is. And they just talk about it constantly. Why? Because they can farm views, add revenue, and grow their personal wealth, even if the investment they're shilling is absolute trash. So who is Future Investing? Well, according to him... I'm a 25-year-old fintech fanatic in love with covering stocks and pumping my grift in finance. Now, we can clearly see that he looks like the guy from, uh, what's that movie called? Office Space. <laughs> and I'm definitely putting that in the thumbnail. <laughs> like a younger version of him, if you know what I'm talking about. But we can clearly see that he's a, a SoFi shill. If you go look at his videos, as a matter of fact, let's see. SoFi. SoFi, 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 Rocket Labs, Celsius. Oh, okay, he's diversifying a little bit. But we can clearly see that the primary thrust, and oh, you're going to be getting a lot of thrusts if you listen to this guy, of his channel is SoFi. Now, another thing I want you to cue you in on is that he interviewed with Jeremy Financial Education. Do you know who Jeremy Financial Education is, ladies and gentlemen? If you don't, just look him up on my channel. What did I tell you, people? If anybody associates with Jeremy Financial Education, that's this man in the yellow right here. If anybody associates with that massive fraud, loser, degenerate, clown, grifter, they themselves are also a grifter. So apparently he interviewed Jeremy about PayPal my snakes now. He's had Tom Nash on the channel. He's got a meat cook creature. You can see the grifter network. Okay, you can see how they all they all get together and they sit in each other's laps and he's probably Lucky Pierre and they all kiss each other and whatever they got to do to grow their personal wealth and grow their YouTube channels. Pumping absolute trash. Now, who is Tanner? What does he do? Well, apparently he's a financial security advisor. That's, is he a financial advisor? Is he a financial advisor? How, how is this guy? who's apparently a financial advisor, I believe, in Canada. How is this clown allowed to go on YouTube and pump and, just, number one, lose massive amounts of monies on stocks? And we're going we're gonna to look at it a second. But he gets to go on YouTube, lose huge amounts of money, and then claim he's a financial advisor? Now, I'm, he's I'm sure he's got the licenses. Oh, he passes those financial advisor tests. He's so smart. But he's a massive clown. He's like, it's like shooting yourself in the foot. It's like, you know... Oh, I'm going to tutor accounting. And then you go and you make accounting videos and you literally screw up every single journal entry. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So we can clearly see this guy is a financial advisor is his full-time job. But, you know, he's probably tired of that. He's like, man, I hate going to work. And, you know, I grift at work. And, you know, maybe I could grift at home, too. And when I'm at home grifting, I can make more money. <laughs> he's also got a Twitter. We clearly see he talks about... Uh, so fi okay the future bro stocks crypto personal finance now let's review some of the stocks that this massive clown has pumped okay and you know everybody sometimes you buy a stock and it goes down right but every single stock that you're shilling and you're just getting wrecked constantly and you're making outrageous claims no okay let's downvote this video I always got to downvote the video shopify stock analysis seven 0.5x return by 2025. Now, granted, it's only, well, it's basically 2024. So he still has a year to get a 7.5x return. Maybe two years if we actually go to the end of 2025. But this video was published April 13th, 2021. How did the stock do? Well, on April 13th, 2021, it was roughly $120. It ran up a little bit more, so he didn't quite time the peak, but he almost did. And then it massively crashed. So somebody that had listened to that video would have lost 77% of their investment. <laughs> and now the stock is back to uh, $72. Okay, okay, good job there, buddy. I mean, I can clearly see why you're a financial advisor. What about skill stuff? <laughs> this guy...
<laughs> Hold on, I want you to listen to how this guy introduces himself. I think it was this video. Hey guys, it's Tanner Manson from Future Investing, and to- Hey guys! Hey guys, it's Tanner Manson! <laughs> That is so cringe. Oh, oh, it makes me sh I'm just shivering with cringe right now. Okay, is he doing it in this one? Hey guys, it's Tanner. Hey guys, it's Strongman Personal Finance. In this video, we're gonna roast another clown. <laughs> Who gets enjoyment from this? <laughs> I don't know. So, another stock that he shilled was Skills. My skills, bro, so skilled. May 25th. 2021. How did all skills stock do? Let's see. Hmm. What is it, May 25th? We'll, you know, we'll give them. We'll give them May 21st. $304, and now it's $6. It is down 98% since he made that video. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, Tainer, Tainer, whatever your stupid clown name is. Here, take my money. Go. If you have a Patreon, bro, can I join your channel? <laughs> <laughs> what else does he have? My biggest stock position, Corsair stock. I wonder why he likes Corsair. <gasps> is it because of Jeremy LeFave? Is he trying to fluff him? Well, apparently it worked because they're definitely bussy buddies now. When was this video made? July 2nd, 2021. Let's see. July 2nd, 2021. We'll do roughly right here. So it's down roughly 60% since he made. Oh, you've got a really great track record there, doofus. Let's see if he does the intro here. Hey guys, it's Tanner. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> God, I just can't. I can't stand it. Next. He, God, this just the list just goes on. It's like, it's just, this guy has to be embarrassed. Like, this is just not good. Okay. I can see why he's a financial advisor. He's probably the top financial advisor in uh, Canada, wherever, whatever clownish place he lives. Why Coinbase is quickly becoming my biggest stock. Two years ago, October 8th, 2021. Let's see. October 8th, 2021. <laughs> oh, you can't make this stuff up. <clears throat> but now he's at SoFi Shilling because he realized this, this little degenerate clown grifter, and he's a grifter, 100%. And he's obviously he obviously sucks at the thing he's supposed to be good at, with abject proof. Now he's just shilling SoFi because it gets him money. It's popular and it gets the views, and that's all he cares about. He doesn't. You think he cares about helping you build wealth? Of course not. He's here to make money. That's all that matters. And there's nothing wrong with making money on YouTube. But holy crap! If somebody is just chasing views, they will pump whatever they got to pump in order to make money. Now, in this final clip, uh, pff, we're not watching this video, I'm going into debt to buy more SoFi stock. So he said that June 7th, 2022. I think I haven't checked recently, but SoFi has been absolutely annihilated, okay? And you don't go into debt to buy a stock. So if you, please just avoid this guy. It, it, he's another scamming piece of trash that is just pumping whatever makes him views and whatever gets him money. He's associating with Jeremy Lafave, and he's got a horrible track record of just massive underperformance. <sighs> Be careful out there, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers!